Welcome to Horror at the Store, guys. I am your host, Katie Hettenbach, and today I have a wonderful person in to talk horror movies. Give it up for none other than Jesse Harris. Hi, guys. That's me. It is you. It is. Wow. Here Here we are. Here I am. Here you are. (laughs) Here we are. Whoa. Who would have thought? Not Not me. me. (laughs) (laughs) Oh, God. Today we are talking about... Willie's Wonderland, which is from 2021, mm-hmm. and classic. Just, oh, it's it's beautiful. It's a wonderful film. Um, I realize I've been calling it a one-liner. It's actually a log line. I was. Yep. I I've told everyone to make a one-liner, and apparently that's. I just completely forgot. It's a comedy term. I just trust. It is. You. It is. But I also was just like I forget everything. Um. So it's a log line. On the title alone, not watching the film yet. So um, I'll start. (laughs) Willie's Wonderland. I said, a young child named Willie discovers a hidden realm inside his toy chest. Ooh. Right? Yeah. It's fun. Well, I'll be honest. Uh, I saw that trailer when it first dropped. That's fair. Because it's right up my alley. So (coughs) I put Nick Cage presents Five Nights at Freddy's. Yeah. Honestly? Yeah. Which is what it was. Yeah. But, Yeah. Let's get into it. I, n- I never played that game. <laughs> you Oh. <gasps> the, okay, so, like, I'm a full-grown adult, and I, that game scared the shit out of me. I don't know how it became such a, like, viral thing with kids, because I was too afraid. I don't, yeah. I it's think I'm terrifying. too scared to play it. Yeah, like, horror games are worse than horror movies. Oh, yeah. I, yeah. i absolutely terrified to, like... I think what was it Slender Man? I think I yes, tried that's I tried the other one. I tried to play Slender Man and I was like, nope, immediately no. I'm like, I don't know where he's going to pop up. I'm okay. You know Both what? Of, I, yeah. I'm good. Both of those games I would I tried to play. I don't know why in public, but like I would hang out at this coffee shop in my college <laughs> town with my friends and we tried to play Five Nights at Freddy and Slenderman there, and it's oh like God. the middle of the day. We're in public, we're outside, and we're still screaming our heads oh, off. Dear God. At these phone games. <laughs> That's amazing. <laughs> okay, let's get into it. Um, so first of all, if you don't know, this is like Nicolas Cage. Wonderful actor. Beautiful. Um, let's just say he doesn't have a single line in this entire film. Like 10 minutes into the film, I was like, he's still not spoken yet. I'm just, spoiler alert, he doesn't speak the entire movie. Do you think they saved money? I think <laughs> they did. I think they were like, hey, we're not going to... Like, we can't pay you that much, but as long as you don't say any lines, is that okay? And he's like, yeah, I got it. They were like, we're going to pay you as a stunt extra. (laughs) And he's like, fuck yeah, let's do it. Um, Can I firstly point off that the the title card, or not the title card, but the production card says Screen Media, a chicken soup for the soul company. I did not see that. Oh, my God. I screenshotted it because why is a chicken soup for the soul production company making Willy's Wonderland? That's weird. I did not feel like chicken soup. Actually, you know what? Yeah. I don't, I don't think I know. It, it made it, me feel warm inside. Yeah. Yeah, in a way. You know, in like a weird, like fucked up way. But it yeah. It made me laugh. It, that, true. It was hilarious. Um, so basically, I, the first thing I wrote was if the animatronics at Chuck E. Cheese came alive and ate people. Yeah. That's... Yeah. Yeah. Um, so, of course, they have to introduce Nick's character as... This, like, badass wearing leather and, like, cowboy boots. And he doesn't have a name. His name is simply The Janitor. I was like... I oh. never noticed that. Yeah, I because I, I was like, I always, you know, forget to, like, look up their names because yeah. sometimes you miss it. And I was like, oh, what's his name? Check IMDb. Just says The Janitor. I'm like, amazing. I love a movie that's so good you don't realize there's no names. Yeah, you're like, <laughs> oh, this guy, you're like, ah, oh, fuck, what's his name? I, I wrote down, I love that he's like, he's this sporty, suave man, and the very first thing he does is drink a hot can of soda out of the trunk of his car. That's what you gotta do. That's like... I was like, literally, it's been boiling in the sun. <laughs> but that's like the only way to drink soda. It's just, it's just boiling... It's just a, hot, nice, a nice hot just a glass nice of soda. Carbonated beverageino. His obsession with these sodas was an interesting choice. That was. He drinks them every like 30 minutes on the dot. Yeah. It was it was odd. Um so his car broke down and he doesn't have any money to pay um, the towing company. Wait, no, there were like spike strips thrown yeah, out in the road. Yeah. So he, 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 his car broke down because there were spike strips in the road. And 
so he like the the tow truck picks him up and they go back to the towing company and then you meet this girl who is at Willy's Wonderland and she is literally about to commit arson and I'm like whoa she's blowing up a building okay <laughs> and then she gets arrested but you're I'm like is that her by her mom her grandma yeah sheriff mom grandma sheriff we don't really know at this point. All we know really is that she hates her. <laughs> yeah, she's like, you're a bitch. And then her mom, grandma, Sheriff. cuffs her to like the radiator yeah, or some shit. Yeah, which is like, I don't. It, that was a really interesting, um, I guess it's not the B plot, but like, yeah, it's just like this girl whose family was murdered there, we find out. Yeah. And then, like, but it just seemed a little extreme to handcuff her. Yeah, I was like, that's. That's a little extreme, and her mom or her grandma, mom sheriff, is like <laughs> mama sheriff, if you yeah, will, mama cop, mama cop. Um, she's like, you know, you're not gonna fuck this up this time, and she's like, you're not gonna get away with this, and we're like, what's going on? Somebody tell us. So, cut back to uh, Nick, Nick Cage. Uh, at the tow company, and he's like, "Yo, it's gonna be what did he say? Like five thousand dollars or something?" Yeah, it was it was a fix he couldn't afford, and they were like, "You can work it off." A wink, wink. You can work it off. All you gotta do is uh clean this place called Willie's Wonderland overnight, and, and hey, we'll, we'll get your car fixed and ready to go. And so he's like, "Okay, let's do it." But of course, he doesn't say that. He just nods. Yeah, and is stern because again, no words, no lines, just grunts, uh-huh. and that's it. Um, <laughs> it truly is Nick Cage almost at his best. Though. Oh, hundred percent. And also, this is an, an editing note. They really enjoy zooming in with whooshing sound effects. Yeah, I was like. Also, a lot so of their, <laughs> a lot of their blood straight up looked like paint splatter. Oh, that's and I the best. adored that. Yeah, it was giving like Monty Python yeah. <laughs> at one point, and I was like, this is brilliant. Um, okay, so. Uh, Okay, yeah, so he's he's cleaning, he's working, he's told he gets a break, what, every hour or, like, every couple hours, and he literally sets his watch to that and starts cleaning. Yes. And immediately, the animatronic bird comes to life. And you're like, oh, shit. Like, we knew something was going to happen, we just didn't know what, and we're like, oh, here are these weird animatronic Chuck E. Cheese-ass looking, like, singing dancing oh things, yeah and they're like we but they're they're moving already i'm confused by the theme of willie's wonderland because it was like an ostrich a a weasel a pixie like a pixie? tinkerbell yeah like tinkerbell um there was a gorilla yeah um i don't know it was like I, where is the setting of this i don't quite i don't quite of this it. world um but uh so and then cut back to live in uh, her mom, sheriff, grandma, whatever, her, you know, their trailer, and her friends come and bust her out. They're like, we got to go to Willy's Wonderland. There's a dude in there. We got to save him. Got to save him. We got to save the dude. <laughs> um, so they go to save the dude. Um, and then there's, like, honestly, all the guys, there, there's, there's what, is there three three guys and two girls and can two we girls. talk about the girl that's the slut she's she like can't even blow a proper bubble with her bubble gum she's such a caricature i was like this is that she's really you know what she went for it she went for it they literally were like i want the bra showing get her an animal print tiny skirt bubble gum really and high just, like, socks for least, no reason yeah and the least she could do is learn how to blow a goddamn bubble yeah, yeah. i mean yeah because nothing screams slut like a large you gotta yeah you gotta show yeah. you know how to blow oh that's exact exactly exactly <laughs> what um. the lips do <laughs> so nick cage is busy cleaning and then the large animatronics are start, you know, moving, and this fucking ostrich, this giant <laughs> ostrich, uh, goes, "I'm gonna feast on your flesh." That's like the almost the first, yeah, that's and the first I line. Cackled, I cackled. That was, I did too. I was like, "This is hilarious." It was like it wasn't even a scary voice. It was like, "I'm gonna feast on your flesh." You're like, <laughs> "Okay, thank you, sir." I truly feel like they could have. The game is so scary. The movie was not at all. Yeah. And I feel like they could have had the movements be more, like, staggered or, like, yeah. you know, just more choppy. But instead it was just, like, 
So funny. It was hilarious. Every, and, yeah. And he, Nick Cage, he doesn't even flinch. He just immediately out of nowhere, just like action, like just boof, 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 and just like beating the shit. He bodies this ostrich. I'm like, first of all, where is this power? We, we don't discover like, oh, he's been training since he was little. It's like, nope, he's just a born it's badass. It's in the soda. <laughs> and it's in, that's it. It's, the key is like a purple power soda. Comes from that's, the Fanta. <gasps> or purple, the Fago. The purple Fanta Fago, whatever, you know. Is it grape? Is that what yeah, it is? Yeah, gra- it's definitely grape. Definitely grape. So um, grape soda, that's like the key. Yeah, he, so he like kills this bird and then is like, anyway. And I'm just gonna go straight back to clean. That, I'm like, it doesn't even face him. He's like, I gotta clean this place. Yeah, piece. there's no reaction whatsoever. It's like, all right, whatever. And it's just, and that, that's literally after every single kill, he does the same thing. And I'm like, he plays, is- he takes a break, he plays pinball, and he drinks a soda. And he's like, yeah, pinball, yeah. But again, no words, just like, no vi- words. just vibes, just vibes, vibes. <laughs> just vibes. Just Nick Cage And vibe. you can tell he had so much fun filming this. You can just tell. Oh my God. Well, the stunts and the action scenes are what make this movie mm-hmm. because like, it was so fun to watch Nick Cage kill these animatronics. Uh-huh. Oh my God. Like, it was the best part of the movie other than his weird breaks where he would <laughs> yeah just hang out know, in the break room you're like oh okay because he, he had a timer on his watch yeah that would beep and he was like oh fuck i gotta go um okay then he's cleaning the bathroom and this giant gorilla is like want to play hide and seek and i was like oh god okay so he's like you know kicking down each door stall, stall yeah. and like no you know nothing there oop you missed me oop I'm not there where am I getting I'm warmer getting warmer kicks on the last one he's like where is he just you know falls down on him and just immediately they just go at it I, and how the fuck did a giant ass gorilla animatronic hide gorilla. hide in that tiny bathroom you know if you just don't look up you just you just don't acknowledge it. It's you know how the, tall are their ceilings that you don't notice out of your peripheral? Super tall. An They're animatronic gigantic. gorilla, the in tallest the ceiling, bathroom like a ninja you've ever seen. And the thing is, he had just cleaned the bathroom. Oh, and, he's and then clean the gorilla it again. destroys it. Like, I was like, oh. I was more mad at that. I was like, I was God too. damn, he worked like, so hard. He just did it, and he's gonna clean it again. God damn it! <laughs> and, and then of course he immediately takes oh, a break again. Yeah. Take, takes a break. Oh, oh. But he curb stomps. He curb stomps the gorilla's head into a urinal. Yes. I was like, oh, you really, oh, you're really Brutalized. doing it. Okay. And then he just like rips out the yeah. guts of it. And it was like, okay. I learned a lot about self-defense from this movie. Yeah. You know, Nick Cage, <laughs> honestly, he should he should do his self-defense course. <gasps> That'd be so, Nick Cage, if you're watching this. Do a master class. Do a master class. everybody thinks it's on acting, but it's really just on self-defense. That would be fantastic. Oh my god, he's like if you, but but it's like within his movies. Yeah. So he's like, if you've been, you know, he teaches the fighting style. If a giant gorilla is coming at you, what do you do? You just knee him in the crotch and curb stomp him on On the urinal. urinal. That's what you do. You find the closest urinal. Curb stomp those bitches. (laughs) (laughs) Absolutely brilliant. Um. Oh, uh, (laughs) so. Then the kids arrive, right? Oh, yes. I would literally amazing. Yes. And they're like, we're going to burn this place down. And Liv's, Liv finds, she she goes in. She's like, I'm going to go in to find him because we can't burn the place down. Her name's fail. Liv? Yes. Mm. I found, again, had to look it up because I was like. Is it because she lives? Spoiler alert. Yeah. <laughs> I mean, this is all spoils. This isn't. This yeah, isn't. I don't think we have to say. Yeah, I don't alert. know. I just, We're going beat by beat through the movie. Spoiler alert! <laughs> spoiler alert. Oopsies. Um, so she crawls through the air ducts, and this fucking crocodile. Honestly, the crocodile animatronic is probably the most terrifying one because the teeth work. And can we talk about how much happened in the air ducts? Oh my god! It held a teenager and an animatronic alligator yeah and they had enough room to have a fight <laughs> i was like air those are some big ass air ducts jesus christ and he, he just like you know fight and fight and fight and what, i think she like kicks him or something and uh it chases her into like this trap with the creepy fairy thing and she's like i've never had a girl to play with before she's like tee, tee, tee. and she's just like they're fighting right away. And that I'm, pixie thing, I, cu- I couldn't tell why it fit in other than the fact that I think they ran out of budget for animatronic oh, yeah. costumes. And they said, just put a 
giant paper mache head on a woman and just go for and it. Just, well, we'll, yeah. see, we'll see how it goes and just have her act like robotic. Yeah, she which just moves literally... around like a robot. I mean, she does a body. Body. It's, it's I, fun. I enjoyed it, but it did. It was just like, that's a human. Oh, yeah, 100%. <laughs> and so she finds the janitor and she's like, oh, my God, let's go. And he's like, nah, I'm going to clean. You know, well, obviously he doesn't say that. He just walks away and yeah. continues to clean. Um, and Liv reveals that there's this scheme that the cops have been doing with the cops corrupt. Yeah. Obviously. And um, that Mama the, Cop. Mama the Cop. The worst of all. Worst of all. It's been going on for like 20 plus years. Um, this used to be run by the Willy's Wonderland used to be run by a bunch of serial killers and psychos and they would kill families uh, left and right. And um, the killers offered themselves in a sac- in, in a satanic ritual, ritual yeah. and uh, transferring their energies into the animatronics. They really laid the pipe on that one. I mean, they Chuck were like, e. Cheese, take notes. They were like, let's just take three minutes to explain everything and just tell you straightforward. Literally. I'm Don't like, try to bury it in the story. I, yeah. I was like, maybe we should have learned about this earlier. And like, there's a lot of like, there's a lot more backstory we find out. And then we find uh, Liv... Her parents also were in the same place uh, Nick Cage was where, some, you know, the, the spike strips came out and, um, uh, you know. And they ended up and they ended up stuck going, there. Stuck there like, the oh, same. you could go to Willy's Wonderland. It's a roof over your head. It'll be fine. And then, yeah, you know. Her parents. Her parents died. And, and she, the cops keep the kid. The, co- the cops, like, they're like, oh, shit, the kid's alive. Well, I guess I'll keep the kid. And it's like. You, okay, and then chain her to the radiator. Chain her to the radiator. It's my daughter. I love her, but goddamn, I'm like, no, you don't. You don't love no. her. You're a terrible mother. They were just growing her up to feed her to the literally, <laughs> the honestly, someday. probably. Um, I it, noticed that the first kill was the jock. Yeah, in terms of like you know slasher stereotypes. Yeah, you, jock first. You really just they they honestly all the three guys just kind of blended together. I noticed one of them was from TikTok. Or like Vine and TikTok, he was in David Dobrik's oh. uh, thing, and I was like, "Oh, I recognize you." Well, good for him. I was like, "I was like, good for you." Which one was he? Was he the one that has sex? Was he the nerd or the jock? I think he was the jock. Honestly, the guy who. Had... Let's talk about the sex scene. Oh my god. Okay. Why so, did they split up and have sex in the middle of Willy's so Wonderland the, when they're trying to set it on fire? The slutty girl and the one black character. Yes. They're like, ooh, we're gonna go to the family fun room. <laughs> have a little. Have a little fun. Wink, wink. Start nudge, a nudge. family. Uh, wink, yeah, wink. The family. Play with the ball pit. If oh, you know what I mean. Sexy time, fun time with kid cuisine. And so they get in the room and they're like getting on. And and the guy's like, ooh, damn, girl, you really are freaky. And they have sex. And then she's like, hey, there's this alligator in the room. Has that always been there? And she, he's like, let's give it a good show, baby. Do they not? They are so aware of these animatronics. Oh, yeah. They're like, that wasn't there before, but we're going to continue. I'm like, everyone. I mean, if it's in the room with you at all, you think you would be freaking out because oh, you yeah. know it's possessed. But you're like, nah. I'm just, I, you I've know, been pretty horny. I don't think I've ever been that horny when the hormones kick in the hormones kick in and animal instinct you're just fucked you know yeah um i don't think we address the problem with nymphomaniacs in horror movies they need help (laughs) they do they do they need this is we just keep letting them get killed this is serious um so uh the alligator just rips apart both of them (laughs) <laughs> just annihilates them. And I think that's the scariest thing is that, like, the, the honestly, the alligator, because he's yeah. just evil. And then uh, Nick Cage. Uh, he's evil and he's not evil. the other one? They're all evil. I mean, but he just, like, the way he, like, rips them apart with his teeth versus everyone else is like, oh, I'm an ostrich. I'm going to peck you. I'm going to, like, strangle you to death. Yeah. He's like, no, I'm literally, like, m- my teeth work. What does the pixie even do? She just is like. It's not like she can open her mouth. Oh, yeah. She has, like, her mouth, like, it, like. Oh, you know, like open yeah, yeah, yeah. I just <laughs> I watched it first. It's a, that's, not a yeah. Stretch. It's been a minute. It's been a minute. Um, but it's fucking weird. And then Liv and Nick Cage find the them, and they're like, "Oh my god!" And Nick Cage just snaps the Croc's mouth in half. I'm like, "Okay, he has superhuman strength." I'm like, "What do you bench, bro?" Like, right? Because these are metal animatronics. Like, he's it is not easy strong. to rip a robot apart. He's strong. Okay. And at this point, everybody except Liv and Nicolas Cage is dead. Is that true? How did the nerd die? 
They got stabbed. Oh, because it was the um. They were like in. In the um the oh, there's a knight. Yeah, there's a knight, and the knight like slashed two characters at once. I skimmed over that part, but that they like literally they died so quickly. They honestly they had no character development. They didn't even matter. Oh, but then there's this love interest with Liv. Let's talk about Wait. that really quick. Yes, it's like literally he's just goo goo gaga over Liv, and. He just dies by this, like, this, this, uh, you know, Tronic who's like, I'm not like the others. I'm different. Let's be friends. And then she chokes him out and then dies. And then Nicolas Cage comes in and is like, I'm going to save you. But then he has to take his break. So he yes. leaves Liv to kill this one animatronic, which she does. Yeah, that was the night. And literally for his entire break, she is fighting and running from this night and he's just and playing pinball yeah he's like sorry it's time for soda and pinball <laughs> see you in 20 and he takes his entire break uh-huh. comes back and immediately kills it oh yeah I- <laughs> and of course he goes back to i just love that she was like just trying to survive until his union mandated break was up. <laughs> he's like well you know you gotta take that break you gotta we, we know the value of a good break he's very pro-union yeah, in this film he, he knows his boundaries yeah as he should he's, he's <laughs> We love a good boundary. Yes. Like boundary King. And He's, he said, I'm not going to work one second over my yeah. break. And as soon as this thing is dead, what does he go back to do? Clean. Clean. That's what he does. Goes back to cleaning. He's a perfect hire. Honestly, honestly he just works. They should have just cleaned. kept him there forever. It's amazing. And so the f- then we cut to the final battle between Willie and Nick. And the sheriff comes in, and the sheriff is like, Willie, we don't stand for this. Like, we don't support him. And Willie's like, I'm just going to kill the sheriff real quick. So sheriff's dead. Bye-bye, sheriff mama. And it's just Nick and Willie. And they're just, Willie's just kicking Nick's ass and throws him in a ball pit. And then within some, like, intense music, Nick is like, I got my drink back. Let's go. And he takes... He goes to the kitchen and he takes all of the purple soda and he puts it in a bag and he takes a stick and he just starts beating Willie with a a bag Bag full of of soda soda and a stick and somehow wins. Well, once again, Nick Cage needs to teach self-defense. Literally. I'm like, so the key is to carry a bag of sodas around. All you need is a bag of, well, he always has sodas on hand and maybe that's what we should take away from this film. It, yeah, always have soda. On always you. have in, your, in the trunk of your car. Soda in the trunk of your car. Sometimes you might need to put it in a bag and kill somebody. Yeah, exactly. Um, so, but I would like to rewind a little bit in the exposition of this backstory. They said that they tried to, um, what was it? They they tried to de- demolish yeah. Willie's, and the contractor was found dead in his home. Yeah. If the Willie's animatronics can leave the play place to kill somebody in their home, why why is this all centered around the building? That's where they live. That's their home. Yeah, but like they could base. they could leave they, and kill whenever they want. Yeah. They you know, no that they don't really talk about that. But they should. Maybe they should. there's gonna be a you sequel. You know what? Sequel? Give us a backstory to the animatronics. Not Lily's Wonderland the Squeakle. The Squeak <gasps> I love the Squeakle, honestly. <laughs> I love that. Like Alvin and Chipmunks knew what they were doing. They're like, you guys hear me out. They knew the Squeakle. Like, it's amazing. Okay, so Willie's dead. Oh wait, wait. Also, wait, back to the lover boy. Yes, lover boy. I didn't realize I, I wrote this down. Um, whenever he dies. I think it's the pixie that kills him. Yes. Uh, he he legitimately falls for the, she's like, oh, I'm not evil. I'm actually good. Yep. I want to, I need help. Yeah. I'm trapped in here. And he falls for it. He's an idiot. And that's how he dies. I was like, how are you going to fall for the, wait, no, I'm not evil. I'm actually good. From a possessed animatronic. Literally. I wanted all of them to die, honestly. I was like, I don't care how you die. I just Yeah, all, I really you, didn't care. I was like, all of you, including Liv. Honestly, Liv could I should I would have been fine. I was like, please die. No, damn it. I wanted her to get a good kill in. Yeah. I wanted her to like get to the end and then like be like ripped out of the car or something. Yeah. She um, was an all right final girl. She was but... fine. Uh no, sorry, Nick is the final girl. Yes. That's that's the real final girl. So again, Willie's dead. Nick is like Yeah, We're is, he, out here. is he handcuffed or is that he gets handcuffed and he fights while he's handcuffed. Yeah. 
he gets cut. He gets Nick gets handcuffed. So he's literally fighting while he. Okay, go back. <laughs> <laughs> Nick gets handcuffed, fights Willie while handcuffed. Yeah, because the cops come and they arrest him. Yeah, and absolute chaos. Yeah, he fights two monsters with his hands cuffed mm-hmm. t- to the music of head, shoulders, knees, and toes, which is honestly the only f- fight song you need. Yeah, that's what I play before I when I need to pump myself up. Yeah. And okay, so fights him, soda, stick, we covered it. Ba bam, ba bam, ba bam. Somehow Nick the janitor wins. Um him and Liv walk out of there. And the owner of the store comes back and sees it spotless. And Nick's like, give me my keys. So he gets his keys and he drives off with Liv in the car and they both drink purple soda. And that's nice. And the fairy thing, like, so the guy, uh, the owner and the tow truck driver are sitting there and they're like, oh, man, maybe we should. Maybe this is finally over. It's finally over. They get in the car and the pixie thing, which was never dead, um, literally just like appears out of nowhere and just says, uh, like, bye bye, motherfuckers. And just like lights the the car on fire and it explodes and that's and then they drive off into the sunset uh nick and live and um go on their happy adventures together forever or yeah. not it was weird i mean how else should it end i i don't know honestly with a whole place exploding that'd yeah be the best. that would have been nice so. but like this movie really had some magical moments like not only Nick Cage fighting handcuffed to head, shoulders, knees, and toes, but there's a dance scene. Oh, yeah. To synth. Is it is he dancing to the synth Willy Wonderland theme song? I think so. While playing pinball on yeah. his break? I mean. We we had dance moments. We had some good kills. We had Nick Cage. We learned They had some really combat. fun shots, too. Like, there was, like, reflections in the sunglasses. Mm-hmm. They really played with it. I was um, like, this is... It this was is, enjoyable. Was he had, fun. like, his little Nelly cheek tape band-aid. It was... Nick it did. was so fun. And he just... It was... Honestly, this was... It was a silly, silly yeah, movie. it wasn't but scary. It, it wasn't was, scary. It was fun. It was fun. It was very fun. So out of 10, what do you think? Um, I would say a 7. A 7? Okay. Because I, I enjoyed it. I had fun, but I don't know how soon I'm going to watch it again. Yeah, that's fair. That's fair. I feel like this is a good, like, high movie. Yeah. If you were high and watching it, because it'd just be fun. And you weird. just want to watch some easy horror films. Yeah. Um, yeah. I gave it a 6. I liked it. Um, it was goofy. It was fun. It was weird. Yeah. Um, I wouldn't, it wasn't, like, amazing, but no. I really, like, it was, it was, it was. It was fun. It was, it was dorky. It was fun. It was weird. And just goofy. I just, the only thing I wish, like, truly my only, if I was to give one note, is I really think they should have just made the animatronics moves less fluid. Mm -hmm. And I think they should have had them move less. If it had just been a slight head tilt in the background, that would have been scary. Yeah. But they really just went straight into, I'm going to feast on your face. (laughs) I mean, that's more fun. It is more fun. fun. That's more fun. You're right. (laughs) So I think what like a six point five we'll give it. We'll yeah, give it a six point five between the two of us. Yeah. Um. Hell yeah. Well, that has been Willie's Wonderland. Um. It was pretty wonderful. It was. It was wonderful. Uh. Do you want to plug anything? Um. Uh. Wait. Are we gonna do any of the other ones? Yes. Oh. We will is it each one a different episode? Yes. Ah. Okay. <laughs> sorry. Yeah. Very I good. mean, you know, you can follow me on Instagram. At Jesse, J E S S I E X, V T H E X, M E S S. But uh, it's not easy. Jesse, it's X, not easy. V, X, Mess. Yeah. I'll, I'll tag you in this episode. Yeah. Yeah. It'll be good. It was a long time ago when Instagram was invented, and it's I okay. didn't think about how easy or difficult it might be. That's okay. We got you. We got you, girlfriend. <laughs> we got you. Well, guys, that has been another episode of Horror at the Store. Tune in tomorrow for a new spooky episode. See you then.